In this video, we'll show you how to create a knockdown stitch in Stitch and Sew. And what a knockdown stitch is, is uh, something that's become recently popular, is um, an area of stitching that's sewn down to flatten out the nap on, um, on anything with texture such as fleece or terry cloth. Uh, in this case, we have a monogram that if we were to sew on fleece or terry cloth, um, its edges may get buried, but to help it pop out and also to give it a little bit of character we have this knockdown stitch and uh, knockdown stitch is basically just a light density fill so in stitch and sew all you do is use the freeform tool to, and the normal fill setting to start drawing a shape and we'll fill it in like we normally would so we'll just kind of rough out a shape that's about what that looks like the monogram inside and you can get creative and play with this if you like to, as you can see, this is very easy to edit and really get the look that you're going for. Whether you want kind of a random blob or if you want to make this into a heart, you can. Uh, or other, uh, uh, other type of meaningful shape for your application. So once we've kind of played around with our shape, um, go to Stitch It. And then in your embroidery settings, what you're looking for, normally we'll create a regular fill stitch. Um, set your angle and then set your starting and ending point and you get a fill that sews on top, which you would then put behind, reorder to the, to the start of the design, and that sews and flattens out the area. But you really don't want a full fill stitch because now we're at 41,000 stitches. But a knockdown stitch is really a light stitch. So first of all, we'll edit that and let's set you, we'll try a lighter density. I'm gonna choose 80, which means every eight millimeters you'll get a row of stitching. So you can see that we have a row of stitching every eight millimeters. And what I do suggest too, to, uh, to give it the nice cross stitch look that you see on a knockdown stitch is choose uh, a fill underlay which runs the underlay at 90 degrees to the fill and set the density to the same number. Um, in other words, the rows going horizontally are spaced equally to the rows going uh, vertically here and I'll apply that and you can see that now we have a cross stitching effect which is our knockdown stitch and if you really want to get a little more character you can also set an angle. So for example if I want to run it at 45 degrees hit that and now we have a 45 degree angle and once we get out of digitizing you can see that we have our uh, nice knockdown stitch but it's recommended you set this to the color of the background um, that way it doesn't show up as much and then that makes the lettering stand out and that's our knockdown stitch